das Weben erlaubt schon von Beginn an eigentlich keinen Fehler. Weaving does not allow any mistakes, ever. Before I start, I have to set up the loom properly. It's essential for weaving and takes up most of the time. The warping happens on the so-called warping mill. From a spool rack, the threads are guided to the warping mill to create the so-called warp, a procedure that requires accurate planning. If I want to create a rug of a certain size and length, I have to calculate first how many threads I'm going to need, how many pairs I will have to make, and how many passes I have to do on the warping mill. What is essential for the warp is that certain crossings of threads do not get lost. These are important because they help determine that a thread is placed at a particular spot. The thread knows that it has been placed first on the warping mill. That is why it is in the first place. When the warping is finished, the crossings need to be knotted carefully so that the warp cannot get loose. Only then can it be taken off. Now work is going to be carried out on the loom. The finished warp is mounted and then the warp threads are put in the reed comb in pairs. I really need to see that each thread is put into the right heddle. The heddles are suspended vertically on the so-called shafts, which are placed in the middle of the loom. This is also mental work, a sense of mindfulness concerning what I'm doing. An important factor with weaving is the tension of the warp. Tension is created by the mounting, which connects the warping mill with the cloth roll. Finally, the loom is set up. The actual process of weaving can now be started. The result, according to terminology, is a cloth, which can either be a fabric or, as portrayed here, a rug. The warp consists of cotton. The weft thread is a very, very thick sheep wool weft thread of up to one to two centimeters of size. This creates wonderful and thick sheep wool. Dadurch ergeben sich herrliche, dicke Schafwollteppiche. What is special about rug weaving is that the rug serves a function. The rug is placed on the floor, people step on it all the time. That means the rug has to be robust. To create this robustness, appropriate force has to be exerted and the beater needs to be pushed several times when weaving. That means I push a weft thread about six to ten times. A shaft is lowered mechanically, while another that has warp threads attached to it is lifted. Due to this inclination, a gap is created between the lifted and the lowered warp threads. Here, a cross thread is put, or as it is called, shot. When the shuttle with the weft thread is shot crossways to the warp thread, the simplest of weaving patterns is created, the so-called basked weave.
When the rug is finished and cut off the loom, the last step of the procedure is tying the warp threads. With weaving, Barbara Schmidt is performing one of the oldest crafts of mankind. This technique was already being applied more than 30,000 years ago.